Hi guys. I want to do a video about Elder Scrolls Online. Yes. So I am. What do you want? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um, this, by the way, is Anderil, who is the. Um, if you watch my Morrowind playthrough, I'm always an Imperial spell sword with Elder Scrolls games. That's the first thing I am, and this is like the third incarnation in Skyrim with this guy. Over the years I've had it of breaking my game a few times through modding and forgetting where I got to. This is his third incarnation. Um, but yeah, Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, excuse the corpses, vampires attacked. Um, Adrian died as well. And this was, ooh, a good year ago, the last time I played this character. Which is why I've got a hell of a lot of stuff. I've got no idea what all my spells are. I can't remember anything. <laughs> but I'm going to do, just do a random quest I saw in the journal while I talk to you. If I don't crash, anyway. Is that my horse? Do I have a horse? Are you my horse? You're my horse. Excellent. Let's ride my horse, then. Um, God. Issue with the torch there. Yes, so, Elder Scrolls Online. A few people asked me my opinion on it a while ago, I think, when it was sort of, well, in the early stages of after announcement and all that. But, um, yeah, I was sort of interested, but I've never really played a MMO at all. So I've got very little experience. I did a 30-day free trial on Warhammer Online, and literally that was it for MMOs for me. But, you know, Elder Scrolls is Elder Scrolls. Big fan. So I was interested, and then the whole subscription fee came into it, and... Oh, I killed a dragon. That was nice of me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that put me off. Obviously, my... As you've seen from that recent update... I stop lagging. Stop it. Um, my financial situation isn't the greatest at the moment, but by the time the game comes out, it should be better. And I should be alright, it's nine quid a month in the UK apparently. Which I think I can stretch to given how much I'll end up playing the game if I get addicted. But um Yeah, so that sort of put me off and then I was just wondering, well, is it worth it? And then the collector's edition was announced, and I had a look at it, and it's the Imperial Edition. And as I've said, I'm always a spell sword for my first character. And, you know, I looked at the lore that the game was set in and looked at the plot, and I'm now more interested than I was. Interesting. I'll just uh, ride on by. Friendly giant, just some wolves. I'm level 45, but I probably can't take much of a beating. I saw so many mods since I last had this character, I'm surprised it's even running. In fact, I'll likely crash before the end of this video, but never mind. What was I on about? Um, God. Yeah, Collector's Edition, Imperial. Um, so it adds the Imperial race. So, very interested, plus it comes with all the... Oh, God, look at the lag here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, you get the statue, the lovely little art book, the map, all that lovely stuff. So, that's the kind of stuff I like from games. I love the little statues and stuff. The only ones I've got at the moment are from um, Mortal Kombat 9, or 10, or whatever the most recent one was. The good one. Um, anyway. I can't remember what I've done in this place. Join the Imperials. I think I took Defended. White Run. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. Yes. So now I'm quite interested in getting the collector's edition but I've been researching a little bit online everyone's really angry with it because it adds the Imperials and the only way is by buying them basically oh we'll just uh, stay here while it lags before I can kill a wolf or have I just crashed no we're alive I like a move what the hell Am I automatically looting? Alright. Apparently so. 
Yep. Yeah. Oh wow, that's annoying. I'm gonna get off the horse, I think. How do you get off the horse? Like that. <laughs> Very slowly. <laughs> oh, sort of. I'm not gonna save anyway. Come on then. Off down. Good. All right. See you later, horse. What spells have I got anyway? What's on my hotkeys? Bow. What's that? Antronok. Wolf. Okay, fair enough. What's that? Healing. Nude. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's armor. Stone flesh. Cool. Seven then is. I think that's like fire touch or something. Anyway, I'll tell you what, I think I've got a candlelight. Let's use candlelight. Where's candlelight? Uh, there you are. Do? Because that's pretty useless, isn't it? The thunder's lighting more than this. But anyway, hello, wolf. Yeah, a lot of people are very angry that the only way to get the Imperials is to buy them. I need to go over there. Which is kind of goes against the whole subscription fee thing where you pay a fee every month and you get everything. So I kind of agree with those people, but at the same time I'm not too fussed because, you know, I want to get the edition anyway. But what I want to ask you lot is, especially those of you with experience in MMOs, because I'm completely foreign to them basically. I've got no idea. There's an entire new branch of lingo that goes with it. Like, um, guilds and PvP and, I, you know, I understand bits and pieces, but... Something called a shard that the Elder Scrolls doesn't have. What the hell is that? A massive bit of licorice on the screen. Oh, and a wolf. Oh, that was my spell again. Never mind. <laughs> right. Yes, and, um, what the hell was I on about? I am useless at concise videos. Yeah, so, um, I'm just wondering really, because I'm a casual player. I am that word casual, which a lot of people get very angry at when they play serious online in FPSs and Mamorpagas and what have you. I, I just, you know, I, I like to do my own thing. I like to role play, obviously. I like to be interested in the lore of the place. I'm not particularly interested in being the first one to complete the game. But I don't really understand that aspect of MMOs that much. I, I know there's this big push to get to the end game and levelling up is crucial and and all of that, but yeah, so someone someone give me the idiot's guide to an MMO and how to approach them. Do you think that someone who plays the way I play is gonna get the most out of Elder Scrolls Online? The developers seem to say so, so probably will be picking it up. And you can have more than one character, so very likely I'll be doing my sort of a main spell sort of dude. I'm frowning at something. At a bear! I'm frowning at a bear! Do I ever follow him? I have no idea. Critical strike on bear. Ooh, level 45 is amazing. <laughs> anyway, um, where was I heading? I was heading... That way, I'm doing the um, Azura Star quest because it was close to where I was. Seems like a good idea. Um, yeah, so I will be making a sort of a Bahaik and a Magruk counterpart, first era ancestor sort of deal. Basically, they'll be the same as. Where am I going? That way. I should have waited till morning, really, shouldn't I? Oh well. We'll find a dungeon at some stage. In fact, let's just get a torch out. See, and, and joining guilds and things like that, it just confuses me that... I don't know, is that all, all done on forums and things, I guess? Gonna get wet. Yep. This is where I want to be. I can get up. Which I can't. That was keep. Okay. We are here. 
There's the way in. Again, I'm getting distracted from what I'm actually talking about. Is it door there? No. Um, yeah. Guilds, things like that. I mean, none of my real life mates are going to get the game. Maybe one or two. But I'm not going to be playing too often, so... Do you need a sort of a big online presence on forums and things to join proper guilds and get the most out of, you know, multiplayer? Or can I just in-game? Do you just find people? Is that how it works? Someone let me know. And of course what I'd like to do is... Ugh. If a bunch of you guys are going to get the game then it'd be kind of fun to meet up with well, the character of your choice, because I guess if I do three characters, I can have them one per alliance. But, you know, you'd have to tell me exactly how I'd go about even doing that. If you wanted to join the hike on his rampages across... Well, I don't even know if you could... You could roleplay to that extent, I doubt it, but... I'm sure you can go out... What is a raid? People say talk about raids in MMOs. I don't know what that is. Like a raid compared to just a quest in a dungeon somewhere. Or a PvP is fighting other players. I know that much. And then there's a load of other quests and stuff. My shield out again. No, in fact, let's get out the armor. Oh, someone around there. People! I'm gonna just die, aren't I, actually? Thinking about it. Holy! There's a lot of them. Right, I need I need more. God, I've forgotten the, my populated mod has just added a billion people, hasn't it? I've completely forgotten how to play as this character. <laughs> I think he usually has followers because I've got a load of auras. Stuff like that. Um, oh, frost. Lightning cloak. Have I got that? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah. Followed by. I can enchant my sword with an alteration spell as well, I think. Come on, push. This takes a while to charge. Nice. Right, let's shove a few of them. Oops. Potions, potions I need. Health and lag. Anti lag. Is there a potion of resist lag? Because that could be useful. <laughs> oh, I haven't been this guy in so long. Stop frost magicking me. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk more about it. So, a PvP is player versus. Player, gods. Oh, just... I don't think I'm even wearing my usual armor. I think I left it on the horse. Let's put a helmet on. That'd help. <laughs> ah, where am I? What's going on? Ah, god, right, you die. Yeah, very unlikely I'm going to ever come back to this character, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. Let's just go outside wander around some more. Man, where's my helmet? There you are. I don't think this stuff is even enchanted, to be honest. Oh, well. Oh, I like this armour. Heroic Imperial gear. With a few Nordic weapons thrown in. Yeah, let's just walk around the coast. Lovely area, this. Not that I can see. You know how the time this Mage Light spell just blinds you? Like that. Yeah, so I'd like to play online and, you know, involve you guys as well if... If I can figure out how that whole thing works. But... Yeah, and also on top of that, what are your thoughts on it? I want to spark some discussion, because as I said, a lot of the online community seem to be angry in that way that only the internet can be about uh, this collector's edition 
and the Imperials. And I, I sort of see their point, but yeah. And you know, your, your thoughts on the game as a whole, thinking of getting it and what have you. The trailer, look, well, the animation that has nothing to do with the game whatsoever looks amazing, but I've watched a lot of the trainers and, and the gameplay. Looks like I'll enjoy it, but you know, I'm, I've just not properly done an MMO at all. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video. While I... I don't know. What am I going to do with this guy? What shall we do with him? Sit on a boat. Sail off into the night.